is small enough to be homey and yet large enough that you don't know everybody. Despite uh, the economy, despite job situation, people always go forward. So it's, it's the people factor for me. It's quiet. There's a, a diverse um, group of people that live there. Great restaurants, shopping, entertainment. Um, uniquely, there's all various different cultures in that area. I love the people of my community. I like that we do a lot of community activities uh -huh. and we're very close like family. Because I love the weather. I feel safe and I guess it's because I feel comfortable. I love the San Fernando Valley because of it. it you've got a mixture of ethnic participation. You've got an extremely active community. The voices are heard, whether it be on the family and education side. We participate and we come together. Part of the problem in education, like I said, is teaching um, uh, the fundamentals of American citizenship. I think the big challenge is that we still have a small town mentality. There are not enough activities for our young people. Communication and getting people involved into the process. I mean, everybody has a, everybody has issues, but people need to be part of the solution and get engaged. There's a lack of diversity. Definitely more jobs for people. So I mean, like with anything else, I just think it's the economy. But I just think that people are kind of disconnected from one another. Because of that disconnect, we don't have political officials being really held accountable to doing what needs to be done in our community. Some of the biggest challenges Elk Grove face is uh, probably the, the best thing that they have, and that's diversity. Throughout Sacramento, they're doing things to try to close the achievement gap and help them with you know, reading, because if you can't read past the third grade, then you're, you're going to fail. We're having educational challenges. We're also seeing a big struggle in reduction of the tax base as a result of business decline. of the California Cadet Corps, where we've been teaching our youth to be responsible for themselves and how to be good Americans. Empowering the, uh, the, uh, the Chambers of Commerce. If we don't prepare future generations and provide them the best education, this country will not come out of the, the, the challenges they have. I wish that uh, people of color would actually uh, take the time to come and visit Roseville, see what it has to offer. Creating a program through neighborhood organizations first step is to make a difference in self and uh, make a change there and then there from there it makes a change in the community. Grow businesses and bring more businesses in the area that can create those jobs and sustain the economy and the community. Getting people involved in the schools and mentorship and um, youth activities, that's my passion. There needs to be a consensus that we have to come together and there has to be a development of the next leaders because we're really not developing the next leaders. More jobs <laughs> and, and more resources. Training the leaders and the residents on advocacy, how to get our voices heard. So there's a lot of forums going on, a lot of proposed ideas, but it comes down to people empowerment and motivating people to participate.